The Israeli military it has claimed that it has killed Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar following an operation in the Gaza Strip. Sinwar, he's largely believed to be the mastermind of October 7th attack by Hamas on Israel. Uh, so Israel claims that uh, the Hamas leader has been killed. Uh, this, uh, uh, the mastermind of October 7 attack is what uh, uh, Yahya Sinwar is alleged to be. Uh, Sinbar, he was suspected to be killed in an operation on the Gaza Strip. Uh, he's also, uh, remember, uh, believed that Hamas attack has triggered the war. Uh, no comment from Hamas yet on his death. Yeah, yeah, Sinbar, remember, he also spent 22 years in Israeli jail. And my colleague Disha joins us uh, to get us more on this uh, story. Uh, Disha, what are the details uh, that you can give us about this entire operation at the moment? So uh, what the Israeli military is now claiming is that in a strike that they conducted today, uh, uh, targeting three operatives of Hamas, this is where they are in the Gaza Strip, this is where they believe that uh, Hamas chief is... Uh, Yaya Sinwar has in fact been eliminated or killed. This is what the Israeli military is now claiming. So in, uh, in terms of what this means, this is a massive uh, development in the year-long war between Israel and Hamas and uh, has, uh, is likely to change the course of the war. Because uh, as you mentioned, uh, Yaya Sinwar was the mastermind and is considered the mastermind of the October 7th attacks. And uh, Netanyahu, when he waged the war on Hamas uh, a year ago, he uh, mentioned that the main target of the war is to eliminate uh, is, uh, Yahya Sinwar and uh, Hamas's military chief, Mohammed Dev. So in terms of uh, who Yahya Sinwar is, he was the political face and the chief of the Hamas, and he was... Uh, he rose to this position in late uh, July after the death of Ismail Hanye. Uh, and in terms of uh, what this now means in, uh, in terms of the hostage release and ceasefire talks, uh, it is expected that now that Netanyahu has been able to uh, succeed in his main goal in this war, uh, there could be a breakthrough in ceasefire talks and hostage deal talks. So quite a significant uh, blow to uh, the Hamas as well as Iran's proxy network uh, in this uh, year-long war. All right. I'm also currently joined by uh, Zvika Klein, uh, the editor-in-chief, uh, Jerusalem Post. Uh, uh, Zvika, my first uh, question to you is, uh, you know, how does Israel now view Sinwar's elimination, uh, especially uh, in terms of achieving justice for uh, the October 7th attack? Thank you for having me. So I would say uh, most Israelis are, are, are very positive about about the situation. Um, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu actually just spoke uh, live and said uh, any a uh, member of Hamas who is uh, uh, holding a hostage will be able to let go, uh, you know, uh, free and leave leave the Gaza Strip. Um, I think definitely the Israelis feel like there is a momentum when it comes to the military situation with uh, succeeding uh, both in Gaza and in, uh, and in the Lebanon with Hezbollah. Obviously, unfortunately, many Israelis were also killed during these operations, but uh, the elimination of all these leaders is something that Israelis are feel a bit of, uh, I wouldn't say joy, but a bit of uh, strength. Right. Is there, uh, is there also a fear of, polit uh, you know, potential repercussions? Uh, do you think there are concerns uh, about potential uh, attacks or escalation from Hamas or, uh, or such similar such organizations? So, I mean, I definitely know um, just a few hours ago, the Israeli prison system um, said they were on high alert because of, you know, members of Hamas in Israeli jails would possibly try and, you know, uprise. Um, that said, I think uh, Hamas's situation, um, as we've seen, is, has been um, a lot, you know, that they've, they've become a lot, you know, less strong, very weak um, in that sense. So, obviously... There may be anecdotal types of, of attacks, but the sense is the fact that this leader, as well as other leaders, but this is the most prominent leader, being eliminated by the IDF is something that will affect um, Hamas inwards. Um, you know, in the past few weeks, 
Um, there were reports saying that Sinwar wasn't actually able to communicate with his organization, definitely after the uh, attack that was allegedly uh, claimed that Israel, you know, bombed thousands of Hezbollah members in Lebanon through pagers. Um, so really the communication of Sinwar was mainly with like written paper uh, with the members of his or organization. So, you know, not being able to manage your own organization and then being eliminated is something that definitely will have its toll and effect um, on the way they see things. There may be anecdotal attacks here and there, but I would say the sense is that there's a historic opportunity to actually end this war, have the hostages return to Israel. Um, Zvika, I also want to understand the impact on Hamas, his uh, death, uh, Yaya Sinwar's death on uh, uh, his impact on Hamas. How will his uh, death affect Hamas's leadership now, according to you, and uh, all its operation? And do you feel there is a potential successor in this uh, particular case? I mean, there are there were different names that were that were potentially raised. I'm not going to get into the specific names, but in general, um, the sense is that you know Israel has eliminated you know both Yechin Sinwar uh, reported today, but also uh, eliminated other senior officials, whether in uh, Iran, whether in Syria, whether in Gaza, um, and in Lebanon. So the sense is that there really isn't any senior leadership in Hamas, as well as, you know, tens of thousands of, of members of the organization that were eliminated by the IDF and Israeli security forces. Um, the question really is also, you know, who who the person will be that will stand up and how senior have they been? And, and will people actually see them or this, you know, this person, potential person as a leader? So, I mean, what I'm hearing from Israeli security forces is, is the sense is that the leadership is pretty much eliminated and not expecting to see um, a successor that would be as substantial as Yechis Simwar. Right. Uh, in fact, uh, Zvika, my colleague uh, Disha also has a question for you. Uh, let's uh, listen uh, to that question, please. Right, Zvika. So my question was actually about what this, uh, what Yaya Sunwar's uh, death could mean for the future of the war. Since Netanyahu has claimed that his main target for the war was uh, Sinwar as well as Mohammed Deif, who was eliminated earlier, could we now expect Israel to uh, look at ceasefire talks and hostage release talks more seriously? And uh, is, could we expect a breakthrough in talks? 100%. Um, you know, as, as I mentioned just you know a few minutes ago, so Prime Minister Netanyahu you know, said straight out to members of Hamas who are holding hostages, you know, give us the hostages, we'll let you go. We're not going to eliminate you. We're not going to kill you. We're going to let you flee to another country um, and and also called out for the negotiations. Uh, we heard reports you know, before this weekend that there haven't been any negotiations in the past few weeks, um, and now we could probably understand why that was. Sinwar was actually the most uh, staunch uh, person against uh, finding solutions and the negotiations, so that will also allow, hopefully, um, you know, further further negotiations. And there are there is a sense, as you said, the goal was to eliminate these these leaders, uh, but also to return the hostages. So if uh, you know, the, it, this really is an historic moment, if if you know members of Hamas, whoever is now you know enabled to 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 allow hostages release. Um, in return for a ceasefire, now I think we're closer to, than ever to that sort of opportunity. All right, uh, Zika Klein, uh, thank you very much for uh, speaking with NDTV and Disha Bakshi, thank you very much for getting us all the latest in that story.